Chagas, first of all, uh, thank you for making time for us. Uh, it wasn't a, a good evening for uh, for your team, but of course we want uh, to talk about you and about VVV. Um, do you still follow the club? Of course, of course I follow the club. Of course I uh, have this this app for the live score and uh, it's in my, my favorites. So whenever they play, uh, I know the score. Um, of course I would make some time, I would find some time for this club, for you. Uh, I owe you uh, almost my career and uh, uh, I'm really um, I'm really in love with this club. Let's go back to your arrival in Venlo. Um, what do you remember when you came to VVV? Oh, well, uh, I remember. I remember the, um, how much they, they they showed me that they they want me to they wanted me to shine there. The the way they approached me, and um, uh, I was looking forward. I knew it even even before I signed that Holland was Netherlands was the best league for the for the striker. So I was looking forward to start with my new club back then, and uh, I was really, really stressed in a good way, and uh, I was really happy on the other way. So yeah, eventually uh, I started very well personally. I went as a club. We started very well with uh, with a win away and the first game hat trick, and uh, yeah, everything took their place, like you know the rest. Yeah, well, was it a big difference? Uh, between the Greek competition and the Dutch Eredivisie? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, there was no wasting time. Um, here, the the way they play football, it was much, much. It was way better, and uh, the rhythm was faster. Um, even the fans were different. The mentality of the fans was different. So I knew for sure that they were enjoying football. It was a big celebration for them every weekend, and I was really sad on the other way because. I couldn't have this uh, connection with our fans because of COVID, um, and even I didn't give them a, a, a proper farewell. It's something that really frustrates me and um, uh, makes me sad. So, how is it for you to be back in Holland now? Oh, I was looking for it's the first time since then, and uh, I don't know. It feels like home whenever I'm here. My soul is calm, and uh, I feel so so good, so beautiful, and. You know, it's it would be really nice uh, if I could make some time, and you know, if at the same time there was a game or something for or the training with the club, I would go and I would uh, talk with the people there, and yeah. But you know, time is is not uh, is not uh, in our in my side, so maybe next another time. You already said the difference is big between Greece and Holland. Was it easy for you to adapt uh, in Holland? Uh, well, the most difficult part was that, um, besides the fact that the Dutch people, they speak perfect English, they don't use them very much, and it was a bit difficult for me because at first they, they didn't really open themselves towards me, and I was struggling a little bit, but, you know, since, since I started scoring, since they, they learned more about me and uh, my characteristics in, in and out of the field, uh, they approached me, and it was it was really pretty easy. I could say I could tell. Um, of course, he, afterwards, after after two or three months, I think I I started learning some Dutch uh, to make it a bit more smooth my adjustment and everything. Everything little every little uh, movement that I had helped a lot in for me to to adjust in the, my new environment. You came to Van to to make goals, but I can imagine you didn't expect to be the top scorer of the league. Um, well, mm, I was hungry. I had some uh, tough, tough moments and very tough periods in, back in Greece uh, with multiple clubs and uh, I didn't really enjoy football. So I can tell that VVV was my, my way out. Um, I wanted to score a lot with this club. Uh, of course, I could never imagine all these amounts of goals uh, at the same time with Think, if you think about the, um, the way we played and the fact that we relegated, um, it was something that made it even more difficult. Um, you know, in the end of the season, I ended up top scorer, and the whole summer I was I was sad. I was sad because I I felt that maybe I didn't do everything possible in order to help my team um, to stay in Eredivisie.
Yeah, because it must be a little bit crazy to be top scorer and also go yeah. to the second division. Yeah, it was, it was, it was crazy. It was totally crazy. Um, but this is football. This is football, and you have to move on. And uh, I would love to see if they're back in their division because they belong there. They deserve to be there, and they will be there. Uh, and I think um, by building um, block to block every year, they will be there soon, soon enough. If you look back at your time in Fano, what was your favorite moment or maybe your favorite goal? Oh, could be Chronic in a way with a, with a scissor. Um, no, a bicycle kick, sorry. Um, chronic in a way. <coughs> Could be Emmen first first game when I chipped the goalkeeper, combined with a hat trick. Could be I think the best the best game I had not goal not about as about a goal but the best game I had was against Fitesse, home game I scored four goals. Back then Fitesse was really really strong in the ranking table and as a, as a team like the way they play they were playing, um, and we had an amazing game. We. We we won like I could tell with with his and uh, it was one of the games that we needed our fans to be there in order to celebrate to realize what we achieved because the next day we went to the training like nothing happened and that was one of the factors that really pained us uh, during COVID. Do you still have contact with some people around VVV? Yeah, sure, sure. Um, with Marco, uh, we're in touch um, with uh, some former teammates I had with Pachonik. Um, I try to keep to keep to, to to be in touch because there are some memories that you cannot delete. There are some very beautiful memories, and uh, they will be um, inside my heart and my my mind forever. After you became top scorer, you went to Celtic. Was it difficult for you to leave Fano? Oh yeah, it was very difficult. It was very difficult, and. Um, I, we, me and my wife, we loved our life there. Besides football, uh, Netherlands is an amazing country to uh, to live to live in, and uh, even even later to, to grow up a family. Uh, it was it was the best the best environment for us. So it was a bit uh, sad on the one hand, but as about my career, I had to move on. I had to uh, make the, ne the the next step. Uh, probably if Verve uh, would remain in the in the visa, maybe you never know. It would be probably different things. Um, but yeah, it it is what it is, and I had to move on. But the the way I feel for the club has never changed. Or was it a big step to go to Celtic? It was a, was a big step. Uh, as about the pressure that Celtic has uh, from around the club, from the fans and the press. Um, but we had an amazing team and uh, I was a bit unlucky at first, the first six months because I was injured. I didn't play much, but the second six months I played and I ended up top scorer again. And um, since then it was another another great club in my, in my career um, and I felt that I made it. And right now, how is life in America? Oh well, for life in America, it's really expensive. <laughs> really expensive, but we love it, me and my family. Now, nowadays I have two kids. Back then I was expecting my son. And nowadays I have two kids. I have another, uh, another uh, child. Uh, my, young, my young child is a daughter. It's my daughter. She's, she's one year old. Uh, they love it. They have uh, an English school. So they, they are learning both Greek and English at the same time. Um, my wife loves it. You know, it's it's a bit difficult because of the distance. It's really, really far away from from our country, and the time difference is huge. It's seven hours behind from compared with Greece. Uh, but uh, we love our life. They they love us. Everyone there from the club and uh, the people around the club and the the friends we have there. So we have a good time so far. Can you tell us how big the MLS is and how big is Atlanta as a club? You cannot, uh, you cannot imagine until you go there. I hadn't, I had, it, I had in my mind that you know the the league was growing, um, but if you don't experience that, you don't know how much they grow. Um, and the growth they have so far is immense, and by by the time that also Messi arrived, it's even even bigger. Um, it's a very physical league. It's a league that uh, can handle a lot of money. 
every single club can spend uh, multiple millions in, in transfers and in, in contracts and wages. Uh, so every single team can be competitive, really competitive. Um, so yeah, it's it's a it's a nice club. It's a very big club, and the targets we have every year is to to win the league. Also in the MLS, it's going for you is going well, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to um, to make it like uh, uh, something ordinary for me. I'm trying to get used to that to have like a habit. I'm working a lot with that, and. I I try to deliver because people believe in me and uh, they showed me in many ways. Um, and first of all, they signed me to they signed me to score, so I'm trying to deliver. What are your goals for the future? My goals for the future. My goals for the future is to enjoy to enjoy football for the remaining years of my of my career. I don't know how many it could be. It could be seven. It could be ten. It could be five. You never know. Uh, I try to. I want to be healthy. I want to be happy, uh, football-wise and uh, family-wise, and um, uh, I want to be a proud, uh, proud father. I want to be a good father for my kids. This is the most important thing, and I want them. I want to grow kids in the best way, so they can go out in the society. Uh, first of all, as uh, as a good, a good human being and then on whatever they want to do as a ball job. Well, we will continue to follow you uh, back in Venlo. Uh, good luck for the future. Thank you very much. Maybe to end the interview, is there something you want to say to the fans in Venlo? Uh, no, they show me with messages and uh, comments in my photos all the time. And I really appreciate that because they were never there. So that showed me that they, mm, they, they would love to be there. Uh, and I can never imagine how much they how, how they would feel if they were there and we would celebrate together. So by not being there and uh, show me all this love, I'm really um, uh, I'm really happy and really um, sad on the other on the other side because I never had the chance to communicate with them or to interact with them and to celebrate some of my goals. Um, I, I can promise that soon enough I will try to, to come to a game uh, with my family and, and I owe them one, one farewell. Well, we are looking uh, forward to that. Thank you very much.